primarily I were uh, driven uh, to support this bill after uh, Jacob uh, Leffler brought to our attention, uh, to my attention, um, it should be three years ago. Uh, and, um, you know, when I went through the bill, the bills introduced in the past did not move anywhere. Uh, and, you know, the bill, when I, I read the bill, uh, it has significant accessibility barriers that the deaf and um, hard of hearing community faced uh, in cinema. Uh, then I see this legislation is a fundamental part of our commitment uh, to inclusivity uh, and ensuring that all Marylanders can enjoy the universal delight of cinema. Uh, and my dedication always been to represent those who may not have the lobbyist, but whose needs are just as important. Uh, then Senator Brooks was, yeah, so I am deeply grateful uh, for the unwavering advocacy of community leaders uh, like Jacob and so many, uh, and the Maryland Association of Deaf, whose passion uh, and persistence were crucial uh, in pushing this bill through after years of inactivity. Uh, and uh, my path in politics has been about fighting for those um, for those who are most vulnerable and they cannot fight for themselves. A path that is not always easy, but is always worth the effort. And the passage of this bill is a significant victory in our broader mission to create a more accessible and equitable Maryland for everyone. And I sincerely hope that other states also get inspiration uh, and, and, and pass similar legislation if needed.